here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit the like subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend it's crazy it's crazy so skinny me skinny me you know he's trying to figure out you know why he's behind the bars and i'm trying to figure out why was i so dumb a few years ago when I used to hear Skinny Me singing all these stuff and saying all these things, I started thinking that crime was legal. I started thinking crime was legal. It was crazy. It was crazy. It's Hermes. Oh, all right. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody else have court appointments and public defenders and they beat their murders, man. With public defenders, bro? Wow. And they beat their murders. Well, wow, he, they beat their murders, man. Wow. They beat their murders. I'm the only one lost my murder. And wow. I pay top dollar for my lawyer, man. Skinny me's not saying, you know what? I'm, I, I really did it. I really did it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I paid top dollar for my lawyer. I'm the only one lost, man. That's true. I'm the only one lost. That, that shit was political. I'm telling you, in the middle of the trial, they try to say, yo, man, we got 30 to 60 for you. No. They try to get your offer in the middle of the trial. Yeah, no. Let's, let's go. How did they let you get convicted on this weak ass case, bro? This really? They gave Skinny me an offer? Okay. Why didn't he take it? They crazy. So I, I so but you got strong you got strong issues for a pill though, and I mean based on yeah. everything that I heard. Like you got some strong about, issues. I got strong I got strong issues like a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, they sat there and played my rap videos. I told you my rap video, that shit gave me the chills. Cause I'm like, damn. <laughs> He's like, damn. Skinny Me said his own rap videos give him the chills. Think about that. Real reality rap. I'm sitting there with a koofy on, some glasses, a, a suit on, like, no tie and all that cool shit. You know, they play my videos like mind you sometimes you like you got you got bruce wayne and you got batman you got peter puff and you got spider-man you got my government name then you got what about humpty dumpty you understand what i'm saying right. so it's like when they seen the skinny meat character they're like oh shit you understand what i'm saying oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute what skinny me was a really he was really just an actor I had no idea. Top tier actor at that. Unbelievable. Right. Like, they're like, oh shit. You 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 know what I'm saying? So it was just like they see me popping my shit. They see me talking like some violent shit or the most brutal shit, and I'm just like entertaining them. You understand what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's crazy. As I said, skinning me at one point in time had me feeling like doing all these committing all these crimes was illegal. The way he was talking about it was crazy. I'm just entertaining. You think what I'm saying? But like, they use that against me to hurt me. You think what I'm saying? Well, at least they thought they, at least they think they heard it. At least they thought they heard it because at the day, like, my head out, my chin up, my chest poked out. You think what I'm saying? Like, I got this rare attitude where it's like, I'm really unbothered. You know what I mean? Like I said, I prepared myself for this shit. Skinny me is talking up both sides of his mouth. He was this big actor at the same time. What is that? What well, he said? I killed the nigga and I did that. I seen him do it. You know what I'm saying? I prepared myself for it. Like, when I seen he was coming with the railroad, I heard the railroad train. Choo, 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 choo. Mm -hmm. I heard that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, my whole thing is, like, shit was political, man. And at the end of the day, he heard it. He heard they were coming. He heard they were coming for him. I think that's when he decided to go on the run. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I ain't sweat. I ain't cry. I ain't shit no tear about none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna shit no tear about none of this shit. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. Because believe it or not, a lot of individuals cry, cry, you um, know, before, you know, when they know they gotta go behind the bars. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's really like that. It's really like that, though. You know what I'm saying? And I just know it's round two. It's round two. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's round two. Right. And another thing, show, this is how crazy it was from start to end. 
had like 70 people here, 70 to 50 people here. Like, my, the victim only had like three people here on his behalf. I had 70 to 50 people here, right? They cut that down and made me handpick 20 motherfuckers to stay in the courtroom with me. I turn around and say, look, 15 girls and five of the guys. You dig what I'm saying? Freedom men. Freedom men. Mm -hmm. 142 happened. It was, it was a break at 142. Jury selection number 10. He come back, but when the jury was supposed to be you know what I can never figure out? Individuals who be behind the bars for some strange reason, they be having the best memories. Don't even put me around my family. You understand what I'm saying? Right. The jury come back and say, yeah, I was on the elevator, yeah, I'm with the red, um, the red terminal with, I'm, I'm behind his, um, his family members, and I heard them say, they gonna stalk the judge, they gonna stalk oh the judge. Oh my God, wow. Bro, they said, he heard jury number 10, he heard, Somebody from my family say they gonna stalk the judge. Skinny me, skinny me is basically he just want to get out. You know, reality rap. He said his own rap video scared him. Think about that. Think about that. His eyes. Look at his eyes. Look what he's doing. It's like he's replaying a situation. Unbelievable. And murder a judge. You got a judge making a lawyer look stupid. Wow. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody say no shit like that. If it was, why y'all ain't bring that jury nigga back and let him say what he say? He just said he can identify. He said he can identify who said it. And the next day I come to court. I seen him do it. You got three names on the list. You got both my cousin's name on the list, and you got my step pop name on the list. So they can't even come in now. Now my whole journey is not from twenty. They say only get allowed ten niggas, to, ten people to come. You understand? Unfortunately, they said most of these individuals behind the bars um don't know their fathers or definitely didn't grow up with their fathers, and they end up meeting their fathers um in the same prison where they locked up at. Unbelievable. What I'm saying? So from the very, so from the very beginning, it's playing games. You ain't from the very the beginning, chance, bro. I ain't stand a chance against them. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I did it. Games. So everything I heard, like, bro, like, your folks reached out. Like, I think he said his name was Mirror, right? Shout out to bro. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, he took my man. Based on what he told me before and the stuff that you telling me, like, you ain't have a, a chance. Like, they was going to do what they was going to do regardless. Sounds to me like Skinny Me want to commit the crime and don't want to go do his time and then the murder happened exactly you know i mean like 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 the judge ain't respecting none of my objections ain't respecting none of them jones and it's crazy four years prior to this shit man me and the judge had words with each other and all i told him shit was like, I'm, like, imagine that skinny me is a, a repeat offender imagine that unbelievable he know the unbelievable I gotta think what's speaking my mind, whether you a judge, whether you whoever, I'm gonna speak my mind. Right. I said, I said, I said, damn, um, he like asking what I'm looking like that for. I said, listen, all I want is a fair trial. All I want. And all the other family want is their family member back. It's crazy. It's crazy. Everybody wants something. It's crazy. It's crazy. I want it was a fair trial. Like, judges, judge this shit off. The facts off the evidence. You understand what I'm saying? And it, but AR Rab said, I seen him do it. Here he was. It was a rat beef. Come on, man. I got a fucking rat weave. You talking about a rat beef? But you know if I had a rat beef for anybody in this motherfucking city, that shit be all over everywhere. And the, and that's the number one thing to do. Right. Rat beef. If I wanted, like, if I wanted any kind of popularity, you know, I think I'd be saying, "Say I'm smoking on ops," and you know how the young niggas do. Right. Skinny me was just telling the truth in his raps, reality rap. You, you, you know what I'm saying? That shit we've been all over everywhere. They said it was a rat beef. They ain't produced no rap songs or nothing. They trying to say somebody dissed me and somebody got murdered. Mm -mm -mm. And then the murder happened. They ain't produced no diss records from a motherfucker towards me. 
they ain't, they ain't produce no dis records from me to motherfuckers or none of that. Right? So they saying this this ultimately was some rap shit. But the thing is, Skinny Me is not crying right now. He's not saying, you know what, I didn't do it. I'm, f you know, innocent. You know, this is crazy. He's not using any of those words. The way he's talking, he's talking like he wanna, he wanna, he wanna come out and, and here we go, here we go. All right. <laughs> That's what they said. Yeah. Wow. Uh, the theory was it was a rap beat, but they have no rap music. To complete their theory. So he said somebody this. Those music videos were wild though. Skinny me was a wild guy. You want to rap, but they didn't play the diss song? They said somebody dissed me in the rap, and somebody got murdered because they dissed me. But did they play a diss song saying the diss no, song? They, no, they didn't play nobody's song at all. So they, they just said it happened, song. but they didn't have no proof yeah, that it happened. They ain't no proof. They ain't what, they, they ain't what happened. You think what I'm saying? That never. But the case, they theory was it was a rat beef. The whole theory was it was a rat beef. They don't know the real theory. The whole theory was it was a rat beef. A rapper did skinny and skinny killed me. <laughs> they crazy shit, man. So that was a theory. That was a theory. I don't know where they got this theory from. I don't know how they killed But they didn't have no evidence to back it. They just they had no they had no evidence to back that. At all. Wow. At all. At all. And but I seen him do it. My whole thing is like, that's the number one trend right now. Motherfuckers rap beefing and all that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Word. I'm chasing down Tommy. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, oh, I'm chasing down Lawrence. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, that ain't even my job. Like, I ain't got rap beef with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't get my rap buzz off there. I ain't get my rap weave off rap. Everybody. You dig what I'm saying? And then they, like, people fuck with me. They fuck with me. They into me. They into me. They fuck with my music. Okay, okay, okay. So, skinny me. You know, he wants to get out like everyone else. But here's the thing right here. I don't believe skinny me is a changed individual yet. I really don't. I believe maybe in maybe in twenty years, maybe. I make good music. I make records. It ain't no diss rap. It ain't no diss rap. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But and it's before like this, this, this is the crazy part because like as I sit down and think about it, mind you, this shit. But this shit, I got this shit pulled up in some shit that happened in 2017. A murder from 2017 or whatever. 16, 17, I don't fucking know. Cause I ain't murdered a motherfucker, but my whole my whole my whole joint is like alright. The way he said it. The way he said it. It's crazy. Entertainment purposes. That's it. That's it. This is quote unquote the theory that is a rat beef. This is like didn't y'all trying to say this is a fucking rat beef. Now after I give book for quote unquote killing somebody over a fucking rat beef, which I ain't do. Now, it's like the most popular thing to do now. They kill a motherfucker over a rat beef. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Imagine that. He said the most popular thing to do. No, it's just the the more um the more guarantee you ought to get sentenced. That's it. You ain't on it if you don't kill a nigga that's dissing you. You, 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 know, you know what I'm saying? Right. But it's fucked up because they started with me trying to make the trying to make this make this into the new trend example. You understand what I'm saying? Right. If, Skinny me said started with him. You quote unquote think that you beefing with a rapper or a rap dissing with somebody. That's bro, there's no rap dissing, bro. It ain't I don't rap this, bro. All my music is out on YouTube, but I don't rap this, bro. Nobody rap this with me, cause don't nobody ever play with me like that, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Word. Like, what? That's what they did, bro. That was their theory, man. That's crazy, bro. Like... Skinny me is only about 125 pounds the most. I'm quite certain most individuals not intimidated by his size. I wonder why he would say that no one would want him to play with him. I don't know. I don't know. 
And that's soaking wet. That's soaking wet. That's crazy, man. Like, but like you said, like I mean, you 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 already in the process of getting it started for round two. Know what I mean, and also, you ain't the first person that been through it. I mean, like far as like a rapper from the city that been in a situation like this. I mean, that ended up bouncing out and coming home. I'll be back. I mean, so it's, I mean, like, I don't know what it is in the city, but a lot of rappers, they get locked up for these kind of cases, bro, like, they don't... Like what I said, Skinny Me is starting to go see now. Now, I'll be back. He done turned to Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's like they don't get a fair shake. Like no, from what bro. I've been hearing, like I mean, from what I've been hearing, like they ain't been getting a fair shake, bro. That's why some niggas, I mean, had to sit and get their shit overturned after a while. Like they whole thing is, bro. They want you to be like. Like, I never was regular, so how can you make me have to be regular? You, you understand what I'm saying? Right. And that's the whole job. Like, like I said, man, if I was a nigga, if I was a, if I was a nameless nigga, a nigga with no name, bro, I would have spanked the case, bro. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Right. The whole thing is, you see how that shit just happened? Skinny me is mainly known for, I see them do it. That's it. I get found guilty. You give me life plus 25 to 50. I'm everywhere. It was going to be the same exact thing if I'd have spanked this shit. If I'd have beat this murder case, I'd have been everywhere. I'd have been on academic, been on say cheese. You always supported Police Ain't TV. You always supported. I'd have been on Philly Billboard. I'd have been over here. I'd have been over here. As I said, skinny me don't win C now. Behind the bars. It happens to the best of them. Skinny me in his own mind, in his own personal mind, thought he was someone of a celebrity. I have no idea, maybe he was. But I know about Skinny Me because AR Rap said, I seen him do it. Been over here, been over here, been over here. You understand what I'm, you understand what I'm saying? But it's like my whole thing is, everybody knew I had potential. Everybody knew I got potential. Everybody, whether they want to acknowledge it or don't acknowledge it. You understand what I'm saying? So my whole joint is just like, man, if I was regular, if I was basic cable, I mean, I, I'd have my freedom right now. But the whole thing is, they see that I got power. I got positive power. Nah, if Skinny Me didn't commit murder, he would have had his freedom right now for certain. But I'm saying they don't, they don't want me to lead the way. They don't want me to be, they don't want me to be the godfather to them young boys, man. And my whole thing, I'm probably the only nigga that can get a message through the young niggas, man. I'm the only nigga that the young, that the young niggas can what, what listen to. You know what I'm saying? And just follow my lead and all that shit. I ain't trying to leave no... Like I'm saying, skinny me is definitely delusional. Definitely, definitely going delusional. Unbelievable. It can happen very easily behind the bars. You know, he's talking to himself at nights. He's thinking in his own little mind that he's more powerful and important than he really is. That's unbelievable. It's really like that, though. Entertainment purposes. Here we go. Here we go. I down the road, like, just to, just to hang they self or let they self You know what I'm saying? That they ain't my job. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm coaching these young boys to ask if they was my kids or ask if they was my nephews. I don't tell young boys to go and strap bombs in each other and blow it the fuck up. And then the murder happened. I ain't knowing that. I want not want nobody to tell my son that or tell my nephew to do, do, do some shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? Right. No, facts. Facts, bro. You know? So basically, you you the perfect nigga, especially with, with what you just went through, to let these young boys know. And that's why I, I want you to let them know. I mean, because in the entertainment purposes, that's it. Off on this loop, I mean, let them know, like, how these people ain't playing fair, basically, like, you in the situation when, and like we was talking about with your brother B, our same situation. I mean, like two murderers, two murderers. So let the young boys know, like far as like that's in the streets and all that. Like these people ain't. I mean, they 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 playing dirty. So even if you you did you wasn't in the situation, you can still get caught up in something based on how they playing. Like it's like it's like this. We in Philly, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to get out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. We, motherfuckers only going do but so much can, can only can do but so much. You understand what I'm saying? So like, 
understand Abe, we all rap about the same. Skinny me is living in one of the most powerful, best countries in the world, but he chose to um, commit crimes. But I don't believe the justice system has a problem with people. I think they have a problem with people doing certain type of crimes. For example, my friend, he had a pit bull, and the pit bull, he bit somebody. And you know what? They put the pit bull down. Skinny me should be happy he's having this conversation over the phone right now. Because he's no better than that pit bull. Same wild animal. Entertainment purposes. But it's really like that though. And shit we are in area of violence. Remember we in the life. Or not about the life. The whole thing is like. It's the hangers. You, you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the whole thing. It's the hangers like. You can rap violent and ain't gonna hurt a motherfucker. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna hurt a soul. But the whole thing is they gonna be out to get you. Cause that's how they're trying to paint it. You know what I'm saying? They're not looking at it like it's art. They ain't trying to lock no conscious rapper up. They went there trying to go lock. And no disrespect to nobody, but they not trying to go lock no cores up. They ain't trying to go lock like. They ain't whining about a motherfucker like that, to be honest. And I don't think nothing from Shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I like. Skinny me saying he's the real deal. Hear him can um incriminate himself like they all do at all times. The music and all that. But like he reminds me like of a J. Cole type of rap. They're not worrying about J. Cole. Mm hmm They ain't worrying about Kenny Lamar. You, you understand you understand what I'm saying? But they worry about the Lord Babies, the Lord Dirks, the Chief Keys. You understand what I'm saying? They worry about dudes who's rapping that certain kind of rap. You understand? My whole thing is if you ain't got no, like, if you rap about money, you gotta show money. Violence is the easiest thing to narrate and rap about because there's nothing you really gotta show. Right. But, gun is, but, but guns, or gun and justice, or prop guns, and cat guns, and big guns, and. Skinny me, I say he's gone delusional. You can show money, you can show quarters and nickels and dimes. You can. Blood and shit like that. Just to try to get somewhere in life, just to try to make some money off, just to try to make some money in life off this shit. You understand what I'm saying? But my whole job, man, they gonna use these raps. Even the hundred dollar bills, you know. Imagine getting a, go get a, a five hundred dollar bills. You know, that's money. I mean, money is money. Even two dollars is money. Skinny me is gonna see now. He's gonna see now. The paint you like, you Hitler. Yeah, man, they gonna use these raps to paint you like. Like you just like this monster, and that's not your whole aim. Your whole aim is like I'm trying to make it the fuck out of here. He's trying to get out. He's trying to go right behind the bars with his brother. And you know what? He did it. Let's give a round of applause to Skinny Me. He did it. I seen him do it. I mean, only could make it out of here by narrowing and violence. Cause this was going on around the world. Cut on the radio. Everybody talking about shooting niggas the fuck down. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Right. What? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a flip side of the coin. Everybody talk about it. It's everybody they want to get liked to. You know what? I think Skinny Me is probably listening to the raw music. He was listening to people who he thought was his friends. Gave him a gun and said, yeah, go ahead and go shoot that man right there, Skinny Me. You skinny little bastard. Go shoot that bastard. Go shoot that man for me. Skinny Me was a notorious idiot. Unbelievable. I mean... They gave me, they gave me life plus 25, 50 years for a murder and conspiracy. I got no co-defendants on my case. So they gave you, that's another thing we ain't touch on. They gave you conspiracy. I seen him do it. But you don't have no co-defendants. I don't have no co-defendants at all on my case. They gave me a 20 to 40 for the conspiracy, a life for the murder. And they gave me about like five one and a half to five, so that equal up to 25 to 50 years. I ain't got no cool defendants, man. Like I said, these individuals behind the bars, for some reason, when they go behind the bars, they have perfect memory. They, they brain works spectacularly. But when they're on the streets, it's not like that for some strange reason. I don't know, but you said skinny me. He's throwing all these numbers together, 50, 25, it's just a lot of numbers. Crime doesn't pay. 
you know. But at the end of the day, skinny me has to sleep in itself by himself and be comfortable with himself and be happy. He's not a, like, a, uh, like a dog or, you know, because, you know, here we go, here we go. Entertainment purposes. Till next time, guys. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Free me, but I seen him do it.